number four, worn by your host, Paula Satie. Okay, so you're not here for my outfit, but can you just take a second to appreciate it? I'm English and I knew the Spice Girls were sponsored by Pepsi, which is why this happened. Anyway, earlier on tonight, Big Gay Day, you saw the incredible talent the Brisbane scene has to offer with the performance from Fier. Now, I might be biased, being an English man, I'm from Essex, but I know that England has got some pretty good talent too. And sometimes they are that talented, we put them on a plane and we fly them to Brisbane. The most inclusive, the most energetic, the most fabulous performers from the London scene. Sink the Pink are about to join us on stage. They're pretty decent, in fact they all absolutely love you. Now they didn't come alone tonight. The year was 1996. Pretend some of you are vulgar, you are. Five girls set out on the scene. We had Emma Bunton, Melanie Brown, Victoria Adam, Jerry Halliwell. There was also Melanie Chisholm. Now, literally after their first single came out, a magazine back in England, which I had a copy of, gave them nicknames. We had a scary one, a baby one, a ginger one, a posh one, and a sporty one. They set out to take over the world, and oh my god, did they do that? Yes, they did. The Spice Girls took over the world. And years afterwards, the longevity lives on. Melanie C has had a very impressive career. Going down Norman Star with some of her solo singles back then. Some amazing collaborations with Brian Adams, When You're Gone. The late Lisa, Left Eye Lopez, we've never been the same again. And then she gave us another smash with my turn to you. And then recently she released an amazing track called High Heels. And tonight, Melanie C and Sink the Pink flew all the way to Brisbane to share Big Gay Day 2020 with you. This is probably the proudest moment of my life, being 35 English and a gay man. One of our biggest allies we could ever ask for. Please show some love for Sink the Pig and Melanie C. so hopefully there's something for everyone. The next song I'm gonna do was one of my big solo hits. This is never be the same again.